Good afternoon. I have uh, the same song here that I did in my last video where I used the Deluxe Memory Man. And I just wanted to give an example of what I would do if I didn't have a Memory Man, but wanted that same kind of vibe. So I have a delay pedal on my pedal board. It's a Strymon Timeline. Any digital delay pedal will work. I have it set to a fairly quick repeat, high mix with lots of repeats, which would be high feedback, I suppose and then a little bit of warble in the repeat, some modulation. I don't like a lot of depth with the modulation, but I do like it to be a little faster to try to match that Memory Man vibrato flutter, right? So you can hear it, it's not quite as fast as the Memory Man. But I have a lot of repeats. So it's kind of, again, I'm trying to use a different pedal than a big box memory man you know in case you don't have a big box memory man i'm going to use a modern widely available pedal to get that sound to create that sort of bed underneath the repeats or sorry underneath my plane so um actually i'm going to turn this up a little bit more okay i think this is better yeah it lasts a while it's got a nice little little flutter to it uh, I feel like we're approximating a Memory Man sound without having all the uh, artifacts of being a big box analog pedal with the cord attached and low headroom preamp and all that stuff. So let me tune here and then I'll play um, another pass on this song, which if you remember, or if you haven't seen that other video, uh, it's it's just a guitar vocal is what I, what I was asked to produce. And there's no vocal yet because... They haven't sang it yet. I played a guitar track in the key that they wanted at the tempo that we agreed on. And I just listened to the work tape so many times that I got the vibe of the vocal in my head and was kind of singing it myself while I was playing the acoustic part. That's a standard trick to do when you're asked to, to track something that doesn't have a vocal. You, you gotta, you gotta get, the, uh, get the melody under your under your ears, you know, like you get a guitar part under your fingers, get that melody under your ears, get your ears familiar with it so that when you play, you've got that in mind. You know, it's not really there to react to, but you're playing it in your head. Um, hope that makes sense. So let me tune. And uh, I don't have any other pedals on. In the video that I did with the Memory Man, it was the only thing I had on. Um, I am using a volume pedal for swells. And I think I was using the Biscuit, my old 55 Tele. Here I've got my uh, Jazzmaster Danacaster guitar. So let's do this. Uh, I'm not using a click. <laughs> I just want it to be sort of reacting to the acoustic. I did cut the acoustic with a click, but here I, I'm, the vibe that I'm going for I don't know, sometimes I just don't want to hear, you know, in my brain the whole time. So here we go.
cool. My solo was kind of weird, but I kind of liked it. So, there you have it. That is one way that I would use a standard digital pedal to kind of get at a Memory Man vibe. It's kind of right there when you plug the Memory Man in, right? Just set your repeats high, max out your delay time, which isn't very long, and uh, use the vibrato mode with the vibrato knob, vibrato knob down around 9 o'clock or so, and it's just right there. So in order to approximate that on a newer digital pedal, you would set your mix pretty high, you'd set your repeats really high, um, your delay time short. I think I have like an eighth note at 110 BPM. You know, that's that's pretty quick repeat, uh, but it feeds back a lot. High repeat number, right? The feedback knob is up at like three o'clock on my timeline. And then um, most modern digital pedals have a modulation control as well, where you can set the depth of the modulation, like how much the pitch changes, and the rate. Well, vibrato, remember, is short depth, um, high rate, fast rate, right? It's not, it's not moving a ton in terms of the pitch, but it's going back and forth quickly. So that's what it would sound like uh, for me to play that kind of track on just a normal modern delay pedal. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.